to making perfect smoke rings. Something I've always wanted to do is make something called a vortex cannon. And a vortex cannon is a, a simple piece of kit really that makes quite complex structures of air. But it's relatively simple, you can make one in your own home. And what you need for that is some tape, some balloons, some CDs, scissors, a toilet roll tube. You also need something to make smoke. Don't try smoking, that's not cool. Uh, we use a smoke machine to make our smoke. You can use the same kind of thing. So to start off, what we'll need to make our hole for our Vortex Cannon is a CD. Try using one that uh, has already been used for something that you don't need anymore. Don't go stealing anyone else's CDs. And with that CD, you're gonna tape on the toilet roll tube to it. You can use a, a kitchen roll tube as well. It's just it's a little bit longer. So tape that to the one side using some sticky tape, any kind will do. And as you stick that on, try and be as neat as possible because neatness is key. All right, so stick that a little bit on there and go all the way around. You've got to get the hole of the cardboard tube around the hole of the CD as well because the air is going to go through the cardboard tube and out of this hole right here. So do that all the way around so you've got a nice sealed tube. Okay. Okay, so we've got our hole at the one end and our cardboard tube at the other end, but we need to seal this off because it needs to be a nice confined space for our air and our smoke to mix. So I'm going to cover the top with something that's a little bit stretchy. So we'll use one of these, but obviously that won't fit over the end of our cardboard tube. So what we need to do is cut it off about halfway up. So if we just snip that off just there, being careful of your fingers. Perfect. Then this is the perfect size then to go over the top of our cardboard tube. It goes over just like that. There we go. So you've got a confined space in there now with a, a rubbery bit at the one end. And this is the perfect vortex machine or smoke ring maker, whatever you want to call it. This is the thing we're going to use to make those mini smoke rings. And to make sure that we know it's making smoke rings, you can use a candle because it's going to create a little ring of air, I suppose, that comes out of here and travels across the room. Just like that. Obviously you can't see it, but to prove that it's there, we'll grab a, a tea light and we'll light that. Okay. So that flame is going nice now. All I need to do is aim the smoke ring, make it at it, press the end. There we go. So obviously there's air coming out of the end of this, but we can't see it. So we want to make it visible using some smoke. We use a smoke machine for this. So just pop a little on the inside. And anything that comes out of the end of here now, we'll be able to see. You can see the smoke coming out of the end. But if you tap it a bit harder, you'll start to see little O's coming out of the end. These are the smoke rings we run about. And the scientific name for these is a torus. It's a circle of smoke that comes out of the end and kind of wraps itself into a donut shape. So these make great little smoke rings, but that's the problem that they, they're little smoke rings. We want ones that are bigger and better as well. So we did, we built one that is bigger and is better too. This one is made out of a dustbin with a hole at the end. That's like our CD at the bottom and some liner at the top, which is like our our balloon as well. So when you squeeze this, the pressure inside changes and forces air out of the hole end. And that's, gonna, that's what makes our torus shape, our, our donut shape of air. Obviously we can't see this still, so we need more smoke. We're gonna fill this with smoke, and then you should be able to see exactly the same effect as we saw in the homemade one as well. Right. 
So with this one, exactly the same way. If you press the back end, then the front end makes that donut shape. A little bit like this. And the better you get it, the better the smoke wings you get. You find these all around you in nature, in tornadoes and in hurricanes, even in the little whirlpool you get at the bottom of your bath and in the sink. But now you have your very own vortex cannon that you can use all around the house. And these are making perfect smoke rings. They will travel for a good couple of meters. You can top it up with smoke every now and then. But these smoke rings are the perfect vortexes. Why don't you subscribe to Head Squeeze? The important thing to remember about giant smoke rings, especially if you're a former president of the United States, is that you didn't inhale, okay?